shows our vulnerability more starkly than AIDS, the disease caused by HIV. It is a virus whose relentless march around the globe continues to shape the history of this century. Robert Michael McCabe. No one has pinpointed HIV's origin. At the Salk Institute in Southern California, Dr. Salk has turned his attention to AIDS. He accepts the idea that it was a mutation of a monkey virus that first appeared centuries ago. It moved into the human population, very likely as a result of the ritual use of monkey blood. And then it remained at a low level of frequency, probably in villages uh, where it was contained. And then, as civilization began to expand and travel became possible, not only in airplanes but in trucks and other forms of transportation, and people moved about, they simply spread it. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, is one of a fast mutating RNA family. This HIV virus, which is really very smart, not only will go into the immune system and kill the immune system, but uh, it doesn't do it immediately. It can remain latent for a long period of time. It uses this property of retroviruses to make a DNA copy of itself, which will go into the host, integrate there, and where it can remain silent. And then a cure cell cannot do anything, just sees the cell, it's a nice cell, cannot see that inside there is the invader, the invader is hidden. So the fact that the virus can be hidden uh, makes it extremely difficult to fight. The search for ways to cure AIDS brings researchers together from all over the world. They report on everything from funding to the health of prostitutes in the poorest slums of Nairobi. Discussions focus on why some people who have been exposed to HIV don't have AIDS. These women may represent the first known cases of natural immunity to HIV. Following that evidence of an experiment in nature, which is very much like what was being observed in Kenya, it begins to suggest to us what would be the strategy that should be used in developing a vaccine. If we can begin to understand the nature of the relationship and how it functions, then we can develop strategies to cope with it. And the fact that there's clear evidence in humans that there is such a thing as a successful interaction with HIV is all that we need to know. That tells us it's possible. Nature's telling us something. 